been to Marx's and um, I do like Marx's food. Marx's food is high end, good quality food. You pay a lot of money for it or you pay a more than normal price for it. But to be fair to them, they are nice. They do do good food. And I, I've been going around and I'm, I'm looking for things to review for the Christmas. And um, these caught my eye. Now, I love I love a whiskey. We like a whiskey. And I love uh, gammon. A bit of gammon. Glazed gammon. So I'm walking around and I found glazed gammon and whiskey. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Crisps that are whiskey and gammon. It's brilliant. And who ever thought of that? Brilliant. From Marx's, they were two pound a packet. Two pound a packet, but there you go. You go into Marx's, you're expecting to pay two pound a packet. So really, probably this is quite a good value for money. Um, snack. Um, let's just see if there's any story on it. Um, no, it's just potatoes, sunflower oil, uh, cinnamon, ground cloves. Paprika extract. Pimentos? Ground pimentos? What the bloody hell is pimentos? You ever heard of pimentos? Pim. N. Toes. That's how, you, that's how you'd say it at school, isn't it? Pimentos. Uh, dried red vinegar. Uh, vinegar. Dried red wine vinegar. Citric acid. Spray side whiskey. What's Sprayside Whiskey? I'm going to have to look that up, folks. I should have looked that up before I did the... Uh... Tell you what. Let's have a look on the old Samson. Sprayside. Spray. Side. Whiskey. Would help if I could spell. Whiskey. Enter. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Single cast spray side whiskies. Uh, so they are a, they're a, 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 a company. They are an actual company. And um, close up. Why do you always get pop ups on stuff? It's always buying your bloody cookies. Who sod off and just tell me what I want? Uh, it's a sub-region within the Scottish Highlands. Sprays Eyed deserves its own listing as a regional due to the sheer number of distilleries who have their home along and around the banks of the River Spray. Uh, yeah, so it's £67. It's £69.70 for a bottle of it. Oh, they do different kinds of whiskies. Bittersweet, juicy and fruit. Time well spent. T-H-Y-M-E, well spent. £195. Look at that. 195 Unbelievable for a bottle of whiskey. They've only got five left in stock. £150 for a fruit matrix. What the hell? Punk's not dead. £49. Mind you, I'll tell you what, they look, uh... ooh, now it looks like, folks, I might have to be trying to get in a bottle of this, single cast malt whiskey, I might have to try and get a bottle of this, let's have a look at the uh, single cast malt whiskey, £78.50 for a bottle of that, marshmallow gently toasted, so I'll tell you what, folks, I might have to look into them, anyway, I'm not doing them. Turn that off. I'm doing these. Marx's glazed gammon and whiskey. Oh, now they look really lovely. And I can't see a bloody thing with these glasses on. Like, uh, really nice and golden, don't they? What do they smell? Yeah, it smells of gammon. Gammon. Oh, oh, bloody hell. They are the 
那样录了呀。那、啊、I wish I got some of the whiskey to taste if I can define the whiskey in the gallon, but it just mixes all in so well. That is a real. Oh, it did not. It, it, oh God, see, I, I have a swig of water. See, this is why sometimes I do these reviews, and I, and I do. I know I sound like an idiot. I know I sound like a pillock because I sometimes watch them back, and I think, "You pillock," because I say the obvious. Right now, these do taste of glazed ham、uh, gallon. They are absolutely stunning. The flavour is full on. It's strong. It's how gammon should be. You know when you get the gammon, you you've cooked it. Me and the wife, we cook gammon and、uh, we roast it and all that kind of stuff. And then you peel that bit of skin off and the peel the、uh, the then the, the, you take the end bits and the end bits are the full of the, you know the dried bits are full of the flavour and it's absolutely it's like the flavour's all been sealed in because if it's dried at the, it's cooked at the end. And then before you get it on the plate, you've ate half of it because you picked it. The wife turns back, and I've nicked a big lump of it, and she goes, "Where's all the gammon gone?" And I've ate it. Sorry, I've just told her that and gave my secret away. But these taste so lovely, and it, it must be the whiskey that. Hmm. The whiskey must bring out the gammon because you can get that whiskey flavour. There is a whiskey taste there. It's just, it's, you can taste it on your tongue. It is lovely, absolutely. Oh God! These are some of the best tasting crisps I've ever, ever had. Because you know, they're all bringing out these gammon, and、uh, not gammon. They're all bringing out these pigs in blankets, ain't they? And it's just bacon flavoured crisp. Don't you know? Don't pull my shirt over my head and say these are bloody bacon、uh, pigs in blanket. No, they're just bacon flavoured crisp with something chucked in on top that tries to make it what it's not, but it isn't. It's bacon flavoured crisp. These taste of gammon. And don't get me wrong, folks. I've had a lot of gammon, gammon in my time. Oh, I want to eat all these, but I want to save some for the bike. Let's try what the dog thinks. Up,、oh, up,、oh, up here. Get it gently. You do it gently. If you bite my finger. Unbelievable! You do realise he's nearly twelve, <laughs> right? So, folks, to round this up, to finish this review, you're too late. Glazed gammon and whisker from Marks's bloody brilliant crisps. If you're sitting there and you're watching the Christmas Doctor Who, and Bradley Walsh is making you laugh, you've got to be eating these. These are tremendous. All right, folks. Later.